So I only started doing this work because I was practicing kind of different mental training techniques. You know, I'm not, I don't like to use the word mindfulness because in the West it became synonymous to something like attention training and, and, and or to something people don't know anymore what it is. So, you know, like I'm coming from empathy and compassion research more. And so for me, the, the practices which also like are related to ethics and compassion based and cooperation is, is, is very important too. And that's typically not considered mindfulness in the West. I would say, you know, I'm starting, I, I started to do this whole research because I was practicing these techniques and it was so uh, life transforming for myself. And so uh, there is n not a real separation between, you know, the, the scientific work I do on this practice and the practices which are useful for my own personal life. In terms of this kind of more contemplative meditation research, there was none in 2000. I mean, the, the papers basically, you know, treating in a very peer-reviewed and kind of, you know, hardcore way uh, the field of mindfulness meditation is very, very young. It's a it's a very young field compared to other scientific fields. It's still a very minority field, and. There needs to be much, much uh, more studies so that we can really talk about a consolidated field. So the papers around mindfulness are exponentially rising, but before there was really no proper science. So um, I think that, you know, like the innovation will continue to, to come while this field is maturing and becoming, you know, more serious. <laughs> because at the beginning a lot of studies were not good, were not well performed, no active control groups, nothing. It was, it was something which was considered not really scientific and that's changing slowly but slowly.